Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and welcome to part 21 of my Weird Science Get to Work Let's Play. So, you guys, I have what I suspect is big news. Well, it is big news. I suspect it's news. I was, I think since the last part, I was doing um, some greenhouse renovations, making the greenhouse bigger at the back. Johnny was at the back, sort of planting stuff, and he got abducted, and now... He's got a little pot belly. I think our Johnny might be pregnant. Honestly, I think he might be. I don't even, I, I don't, I can't, like, what? Look, and when I click on him, he has a weird tummy ache, but the symbol is a dummy. So I'm pretty sure Johnny is pregnant. I have never encountered the, I knew it was a thing. But I've never encountered the uh, male sim pregnancy thing before. So, yeah, I I think he's going to be a daddy again. I'm sorry, Johnny. This is all because your wife spends so much time contacting aliens. Uh, my plan for this part had actually been to age up the twins, like to have a birthday party and age them up. I thought I would try and get them both maxed out just because why not? Um, but that's kind of thrown me a little bit. Why are you sitting there? She's like, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to face this window and no one can talk to me. You strange little child. Astrid is our little wild bean. So that's unsurprising. I'm trying to think. All right. Well, I'll show you what else I've done because I'm pretty sure this is all new since the last part. So this was our original greenhouse. We had so many alien plants that I decided we needed an alien plant wing. These plants aren't, <laughs> but these ones are both spliced. So I guess I just ran out of space. I can't actually remember why I put those there. Yay, Haley! I'm having her tend the garden because it's a Sunday and I don't think the gardener comes on a Sunday. Uh, I've moved some of the trees out here because we were running out of space. This lot, we're actually outgrowing. And I feel like we only just moved into this house, but we're either going to have to move or extend because if Johnny is going to have baby, another baby, I'm, yeah, I'm a little like, where are we going to, we don't have room. I mean, we've got our little basement, which is Haley's lab. We've got a few bits and pieces that are different in here. We got an extra one of these eggs, which I thought was cute. So I popped that in there. Uh, we've got two of these things now. We got a giant rock. This is actually downsized. I made it smaller to fit on the pedestal. <laughs> it was actually massive. And we got this one as well. These are just from Haley's like space adventures. All right, Haley, you need to just come out here and harvest all of those as well. And then what else did we do? I put the eggs in here on this shelf and I put the bugs downstairs because we had bugs originally in the bathroom. And I thought they kind of fit better in a science lab. So the bugs that we found when we were at um, Granite Falls now live down there. We've got lots of little aliens here. Basically, we're getting a nice little set of collections and stuff. And I do wonder, should I expand this house? Maybe I could knock this down, make this part of the living area and have stairs going up to a second floor. And then we could put the kids on the second floor. Or we could make, once Johnny has his child, we could put the toddler bedroom here and then move the older two upstairs I don't really know but I feel like Haley is going to be on the warpath for the alien lady who or man I guess I don't really know for the alien that impregnated her husband once she realizes and we can track down a sim man it's on she's gonna be like right this is gonna be because Haley's always had a little bit of mad scientist in her let's be real I feel like she could definitely go completely wild getting revenge on whoever it is that did this to her husband. Yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. We're just waiting to see what happens with Johnny, I guess. And I would still like to age the twins up. But like I said, I've decided because I'm a completionist, a perfectionist or whatever. I've decided I'm going to do it once they both get their skills completely maxed out. Because I've never done that before. I've never had a sim completely max out their skills. So, yeah, that's where we're at. 
One thing I am going to do, I got du duplicates of some of these little statues and I decided to use them in some little experimentation with my freeze ray slash plasma gun. What have we got? What? It looks like nothing happened. I'm confused. Oh, it changed into a soap dispenser. Well, that's handy. Alara's completely developed her imagination. That's exciting. Oh, <gasps> what is this thing? That looks like child's crafts. That's amazing. Well, obviously both of those are improvements. I feel like we're pretty financially well off. So I feel like this is a better use of my duplicate items now. <laughs> and I will put this, I need to put a shelf in the bathroom. So I might just quickly do that. And then we're almost, oh, Johnny, get dressed, sweetie. Every time I see him, I look at his little belly and I'm like, oh. To be fair, he is wearing an alien abduction shirt. So, although in the shirt, it looks like it's a cat getting abducted, not Johnny. But maybe that was prophetic that I put him in that shirt. Like, maybe that's the thing. Maybe I brought it on us. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I'm still reeling. I can't believe Johnny is going to have a kid. It's later in the day. Johnny's gone to work despite his tummy ache. Um, the kids are asleep and Arav has turned up. He's a vampire in this save file. I don't know that he always is. Um, I don't think he is. Anyway, maybe he is. I don't know. But I just wanted to draw attention to his outfit. He is the least trendy vampire I have ever seen in my life. And we don't like vampires. So we are going to mind control him to, I don't know, sit. That sounds like a thing we would do. Haley has, except for Caleb, Caleb has an exception. Like he's immune to her dislike, but everyone else, she doesn't like vampires turning up at a house in the middle of the night because they never want anything good. Yeah, you gotta sit, dude. Sit. Oh no, he's gonna sit in my house! I should probably have thought of that, hey. Whoops. He just needs to sit there. Yeah, you sit. When you stand up, I freeze you. Ha! Ooh, Johnny's home! How are you feeling, Johnny? Oh, he's still got his belly ache. Caleb wants someone to be his spotter. Sure! Let's go. Caleb just invited Johnny out for a gym session. That's really cute. <laughs> oh, look, they've become friends. All right, we are at the gym. I guess, uh, first things first, I will have Johnny change into his gym gear. Let's see. Let's go with this one. No. <gasps> what just happened? Okay, he wants to work out at the gym. You probably shouldn't be working out in your condition, Johnny. <laughs> oh, I don't think I've been to this gym before. Interesting, interesting. First things first, he needs to pee because he has a weird tummy ache. And then I guess we'll just go for a little bit of a workout on the treadmill. Hey, Caleb. How you going, bud? All right, he's worked out at the gym twice already. Hang on, what? Did he get credit for Caleb working out? That's pretty funny. All right, he might have to go home really quickly because he's very tired. All right, how about you come over here? You don't want to discourage him. You're not mean. Stop it. Maybe he could complain about his belly ache. He could confide in Caleb. Something isn't right. This belly ache, they just won't go away. And now it looks like you're pregnant. Glara. Caleb's like, oh my god, I thought being a vampire was bad. That really sucks, dude. I mean, I can go out in the sun and I catch fire, but I've never had what may or may not be an alien baby in my belly before. Like, that really sucks. You should attack it with a tank. What? I'm just going to have him go home. Because, <laughs> oh, I have to end the event first. All right, ending early. Yes, we are. We've ticked off the event because Caleb did all the work while we were going to the toilet, which I think is hilarious. Anyway, it's fine. 
I'm gonna go home. It's fine. It's totally fine. Sure, Caleb, you can come over with us. Oh no, Arab is still here. I was hoping he'd be gone. All right, get yourself some leftovers, buddy. Why are the kids awake? They shouldn't be awake. Go back to sleep. This is because I left, isn't it? All right. Come on. Back to bed, children. Alara? Oh no, that's Astrid. Wait. Alara, I said bedtime. Oh my god, these kids. Back to bed. Fine. You sleep in that bed. I think I just got the kids in the wrong beds. It's fine. It's totally fine. Whoa, check out those abs. Haley's watching TV like, whoa, abs. Alright, we need to do something about this vampire. Can we send him away, please? We can ask Arav. I was going to say, how come I can ask Caleb to leave and not Arav? But I have that option now, which is cool. Alright, well, tomorrow is... Okay, it's currently Sunday morning. I reckon Sunday is going to be birthday party day for the kids. So I'm going to have my Sims get some rest and then we will have the party in the morning. Or probably in the afternoon, I'm not going to lie, but we're going to have a party. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. All right, it's party planning time. Haley's just making a cake for the twins. We're going to have a honey cake. Both twins are level 5 in everything, which is exciting. I've never achieved that before. Alright, we are going to have a birthday party. And it's going to be gold. We need to have birthday sims. Guests. Alright, Haley, obviously. Um, Alex, Don, Zoe, Caleb. I don't remember meeting this person. That's Santa. I'm pretty sure Darren is Santa. We'll invite him. Uh, a caterer. Mm. Let's hire a caterer. We don't have a bar. We could hire a, an entertainer. Why not? Um, and we're going to have it at our house. There we go. Beautiful. Entertainers need a piano. What? They can't use the guitar or the microphone stand. Like, what is wrong with you? <gasps> Oh my gosh, Johnny, look at him. He's so beautiful. He's such a beautiful tummy. Wow. Wow, Johnny. I just, I don't know how long does an alien pregnancy last. Where's my cake? Got to move it into the center. We're going to add candles straight away because I know how seams work. They like to, don't you touch my cake. Ish fun. He's my caterer. Hey, I get free food out of it. Well, not free, because I just hired a caterer. But I get food out of it. That's cool. All right, twinsies. Who are we going to age up first? <gasps> Look at them. They're both sleeping in the opposite beds again. All right, Astrid in her little elf outfit. And Lara dressed in her little cat outfit. Very cute. And the last time we're going to see these two as toddlers... Because I wasn't anticipating having any more kids. Like, this was actually... I thought these guys were only going to have the twins. But we're going to have more choices. Help blow out candles. Let's do Alara first. Um, oh, she's our entertainer. I was like, who is this? See, she can use the microphone. Don't know if she's any good. All right. Let's do it. Johnny, come out here. You're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. <laughs> Yay. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited, you guys. Obviously, I've aged up a lot of toddlers with the 100 baby challenge, but these guys are special to me. All right. Alara has aged up. Now, she was a clingy toddler. Let's see. I'm wondering if I should randomly generate her traits again. I did have a vague idea. I thought she might be more of a little creative bunny. Um, as far as her trait goes, though, I don't really know. Let, I'm going to randomly generate it and see what I get. I think from memory there's 29 of these bad boys. All right, I randomly generated it and it was 27. So she is outgoing. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, look at her. She's so cute. All right, we're going to add birthday candles again because I only made the one cake. 
And then we are going to help Astrid blow out the candles. Okay, help blow out candles, Astrid. This is very exciting. All right, socialize with the birthday sim for three hours. Okay, let's have Alara ask to feel the baby on her dad. Oh my goodness. I was in denial until I saw that interaction. He's very happy about it. Like, he doesn't seem upset at all. Ah, what if he has twins? Twins clearly run in this family. I don't know if they're on Haley's side or as Johnny's, but oh my gosh. Dude, finish cooking. You have a job. Resume the mac and cheese. What is wrong with you? Um, alright. We will brew a pot of... I don't know. Let's randomly pick one. Um... Are we blowing out candles? No! You can't go to bed! Get up! Get up! Ask for help to blow out the candles from your mama! Oh, stop! Obviously she's good at piano, because she's not good at anything else! Alice, stop! Why did I hire an entertainer? She's... Can I turn her volume down? <laughs> right, I'm here for it! I'm here for it, Astrid! What kind of cutie are you, my little redhead? Okay, Astrid aged up. Now, she is my high-energy goofball sim. I already knew what trait she was going to get. She is going to get goofball because she was the clown toddler in the first place. So, it fits, right? So, that she's... Awesome. Oh, look at her. Oh, don't be angry, sweetie. She's so gorgeous. That is, she's just a beautiful sim. What colour eyes have you got? she got the same green eyes? She does. I think they both have Johnny's eyes. Because obviously their mum's eyes are like, yeah, they do. They both got Johnny's beautiful green eyes. Obviously their mum's eyes, her, in her natural form, are like a little solar system thing. Oh my god. Can you resume the mac and cheese? Seriously, I shouldn't have to be cleaning. This is your job. Anyway. Uh, alright, so we're going to need an extra toilet in this house. I'm not spending any money at the moment because I'm anticipating after this part we're going to be in major home renovation territory. I don't, just don't know where I'm going to put stairs. Alara is, or Astrid is so tired. Look at them using the toilet and here I thought I'd be able to get rid of the potties. <laughs> Johnny's having a baby. Where are you going? She's gone for a wander. Socialise with the birthday sim. Alright, let's do that. Let's come over here and we're going to have a funny introduction. There's food all over the floor. These sims. And for some reason I can't drag anything. That's really annoying. <gasps> Everyone loved attending social events that Haley hosts, so it'll be easier to, to achieve gold level rewards during one. In addition, she'll receive phone calls with exciting opportunities, such as attending charity benefit parties, job offers to join new careers, with immediate promotions up the ranks, and many more. Should Haley be interested in dating, a great reputation can help with that as well. Well, she's not. Um, is that. Oh, hang on, I'm clicked on Johnny. Oh, because she's gotten to here. That's really exciting. Johnny's on his way to getting a great reputation. I have some very nicely behaved sims, which is funny because Haley, like I said, a little bit of mad scientist. I feel like this is a great place to end this part. Um, so presumably in the next part, Johnny is going to have his baby. Like I said, I feel like once I can see who the other sim parent of the baby is, that Haley might go a little bit postal. But until the baby's born and I can see their genealogy, there's not much she can do about it. So in the meantime, she's probably going to like put the word out on the street with her alien friends, talk to Nicholas and that kind of thing. I might have all that happen in the next part because she is going to want some revenge, which is not to say she's not going to love the baby because she will. She'll be happy to adopt Johnny's child. But yeah, someone is going to pay. So... On that note, <laughs> I'm going to end this part here. If you've enjoyed, like and subscribe, you know the drill, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.